Hi, Jim here. I'm going to demonstrate how to connect a uh, Palliser uh, power reclining sofa with the transformer and then also show you how to uh, use a battery pack, a rechargeable battery pack that's available on all the Palliser product also. The model we're going to demonstrate it on is a San Francisco. This is uh, Innovations by Palliser. It's a very popular model. And uh, I'm going to take you around the back of it and show you how to connect all that. Okay, so we're at the back of the San Francisco sofa. So in the box, here's your transformer. It just plugs into the back here. And you've got a two-prong plug. That obviously goes to the wall connection. On sofas and love seats, there's a white cable that you get that you can operate both units off of one transformer, which makes it nice. So this just plugs in here. There's a little pin connector that pops in there. And then these just connect underneath to the uh, motor. So after that's connected, you can plug it in. And uh, a green light will come on the transformer letting you know it's, it's operating. So if this ever goes out, then you know there's something wrong with the transformer. Okay. <clears throat> so this is how this operates. So now both ends of the recliner sofa will uh, recline off of the one transformer. Uh, what you can do a lot of times, uh, what people do is uh, just put a uh, strip plug or something underneath the sofa. You can plug all this in and kind of clean it up a little bit. If you have an area that's open on the floor, you have an open area room, or say you bought a sofa and a love seat and one, one of the pieces is not a place to plug it in, or you just don't like the idea of looking at you know, cords everywhere, what you can do is order one of these battery packs, rechargeable through Palliser. They're available through your dealer. These run, uh, we sell them for like 150 bucks. And so what this is, uh, it's rechargeable. Uh, it takes full eight hours to charge it up. But what you do is, you use the transformer that comes with your recliner, and you plug that in here. And you need to let this uh, charge the first time for like eight hours to get a full charge on it. Otherwise, uh, it'll ruin the battery. After you plug it in, a red light will start blinking to let you know it's charging. When that turns green, it's ready to go. But I would get at least a full eight hours on it. This thing will probably stop after about five hours, uh, but do eight hours. It'll lengthen the, the lifespan of this tremendously. So after that's fully charged, you can unplug it from the transformer and then just plug in your sofa. And you can hide the cords underneath the back and it cleans up the look a lot. And then you can operate the unit. A full charge on this thing will give you about 300 opening and closings. So if it's a recliner chair, you'll get obviously 300 openings and shuts with that. If it's a sofa and love seat combination when you have dual recliners, you'll get about 150 or so out of it. If this ever goes out, um, the battery uh, loses its uh, uh, the juice. Um, there's an audible alarm in this thing. It'll start beeping at you, letting you know it's time to charge it. So uh, the easiest thing to do is just charge it overnight when you go to bed and it's ready to go in the morning. But uh, say, for instance, you had company or you're watching a ball game or whatever it is, and this thing starts beeping at you and you don't want it to, to ruin the battery, what you can do is leave this side plugged into the sofa and go ahead and use your transformer and plug that back up. And you can operate it that way. It'll charge it while you're using it. And uh, you just don't want to keep it like this all the time, um, you know, permanently. It's better just to get the, the battery charged. Uh, but this will get you through the evening or whatever you're doing. Uh, and then you can get a full charge on it at night. Some people buy a couple of these and just rotate them. Uh, if they use it a lot, they got one charged and one backup ready to go. But, uh, you know, it's not necessary since you can charge it while you use it. So.